MMA Boxing Talk here coming at you with another video. I just want to put out a video talking about uh, Dana White. He was just on the uh, the Herd show the other day uh, talking about Conor McGregor and, you know, the future with him and the Floyd Mayweather fight and all this stuff. Um, first of all, you know, Dana White was laughing. You know, Floyd, Floyd can put out as many posters as he wants, Conor McGregor Mayweather posters saying that they're fighting in September, but at the end of the day, Floyd has to go through Dana White to get this deal done, and that, that of course, I mean, of course, uh, UFC, Dana White, they're not just going to let Conor go fight Nate, uh, they're not going to let Conor McGregor go fight Floyd Mayweather if they're not going to get a piece, um, they want to share, you know, they want to be worked in to the, you know, they want to be in this deal as well, you know, uh, it only makes sense, so, more of a reason why this fight is a fucking joke, you know. It's just Floyd um, being Floyd, you know. Trying to fool all his all of his fans, you know. Um, so, you know, that fight, that's not going to happen. Uh, like I said, you know, Floyd wants this fight to happen. He's got to go through Dana White. And he hasn't called Dana White yet. So, Conor McGregor still obsessed with the rematch with Nate Diaz at 170 pounds, he still wants that fight. That's the fight he wants. Um, even though he's not clamoring for it, he's kind of playing along with the, the Floyd Mayweather thing. I don't blame him. <laughs> he's going to make a lot of money if he ever does fight Floyd Mayweather. Even though that fight's a fucking joke, nobody wants to see that fight. I mean, honestly, the fans that want to see that fight aren't true boxing fans or true MMA fans. They're just more casual fans. I'm sorry to say it, but... Um, you shouldn't want to watch this fight. It's not. It's not entertaining. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, but the thing is, Connor really wants the rematch with Nate Diaz at one seventy. I mean, he's obsessed with it. But Nate Diaz, I mean, it, you know, Dana didn't actually say this, but they're having trouble getting that deal done. The only thing that makes sense is that Nate Diaz now wants more money, and you know, I don't blame him. You know. Um, this whole thing with McGregor, um, and Mayweather, you know, is getting more promotion, you know, more spotlight on the UFC, more spotlight on Conor McGregor, um, you know, the more spotlight, the more publicity, Nate Diaz isn't dumb, he's a smart businessman, believe it or not, and he knows all this, you know, all this crap that's been going on in the media is gonna make, you know, more pay-per-view buys, so Nate Diaz is a smart, you know, he knows he can get more money, um, so I think that's the reason why he's not signing the, the fight with Conor McGregor because he wants more money. Um, and we'll see if, you know, the UFC will fork that out. But, you know, Dana also said they're starting to look for another opponent for Conor McGregor, um, whether it'll be, you know, all the winner of Aldo Edgar, even though I can't see Conor McGregor ever going back to 145. I just can't. I mean, he hasn't made that weight cut since December, and he's ballooned up, you know what I mean, he's been, he hasn't, it's not like, you know, he's been training to be a 155er, he, you know, it's been a while now, he's been training to be a, fighting at 170, you know, I don't know if he, if he's, where his weight's at right now, um, but, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to make those weight cuts, and it was already extremely, extremely tough for Conor McGregor to make those weight cuts, you know, it's not healthy for you, you know, you might be, optimal in the sense where you're you're bigger than your opponent if you cut a lot of weight but you know physically you can't feel your best you know you can't feel 100 percent when you're f coming in at the weigh-ins and you're looking like skeletor you know um so i really think i just want to see conor mcgregor you know go down to 155 whether he fights for the title right away i don't even i don't even care you know just go down to 155 and start, you know, start fighting, you know, top five, six guys, and move up, you know, um, fight a top five guy, you're still gonna make a killing, a killing, um, and, you know, have maybe two fights, and then fight for the title, you know, that's what I wanna see, um, because 170 is not his natural division, 145, you know, as much as he's had success there, um, we all know the weight cut is, is insanely hard on him, it's excruciating, just look at his face at the weigh-ins. I mean, especially the, the the 189 one where he had, you know, he suffered a knee injury. He, he re-injured his, his knee three months before that 189 card. Um, 
that weight cut was extremely difficult on him, and you can see it in his face compared to the 194 weigh-ins. He made that cut a lot easier. Um, but even then, he still looks like crap, you know? Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. I mean, um, this McGregor Mayweather thing, it's a fucking joke. I hope it never happens. Um, Floyd's just running his fucking mouth. He needs to fucking talk to Dana White. He hasn't even talked to Dana White. So how is it official, you know? And you got people going on and on and on saying that it's official. <sighs> hey, maybe it'll happen next year, but... Boxing fans don't want to see it. MMA fans don't want to see it. It's only casual fans that want to see this. I mean, let's get Conor McGregor fighting MMA. Let's get Floyd fighting a boxer. Preferably a top five in his division. I mean, it's kind of a fucking joke. Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather wants Conor McGregor, a fighter who has not one professional boxing fight, to be his number 50. Sums up what, uh, what that guy's all about, I guess, eh? Really, uh, really striving to be the best, you know. Let me, let me, my fiftieth win. Let me be it against, uh, you know, a guy that hasn't had one professional boxing fight, but I'll make a lot of money. It's all about your legacy, bud. And if you, a win over Conor McGregor is a fucking asterisk. How the fuck is that supposed to count? Guy that hasn't had one professional fight in his his career in his life, and uh, Floyd wants credit for beating Conor McGregor. Come on, it's a fucking joke. All he's gonna get is money. That's it for this one. If you like the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One. Peace.